Veterans re and civilian life face many challenges, including finding a job. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Welcome to this edition of Military Makeover Operation Career. Today, four inspirational stories of former servicemen and women who have reinvented themselves and are thriving at companies who value their unique skills. The United States government is massive, operating in over 400,000 locations worldwide. Equally huge is the task of maintaining these facilities. This is the work that requires dedication and accountability. Sounds like a job for our veterans. We're a Department of Defense contractor supporting the military worldwide. Basically, wherever the military is, we go. We don't choose where we go to because we, we say the mission is the military in the United States, so wherever they go, we go to serve. I've got a lot of you know, 23 years worth of memories from my, my military career. One stands out I think because visiting a third world country and being able to help them improve what they have by sharing our knowledge, our expertise, and even repairing schools and clinics and things like that. Because I felt like there, my engineering background was being used for a mission of healing. And the daily feedback from that, the daily job satisfaction from that just couldn't be matched anywhere else. In the military, I was in the medical field. And since I was in the medical field, I know that soldiers just need somebody to be there. When we went to Panama and we gave medical services and we saw all different things. It was very moving because I saw how poor they were and people were trying to get our help and we were just there to help them out. The United States military educates and trains the most effective fighting force the world has ever seen. As these professionals leave the service and begin to build civilian careers, they bring with them a powerful combination of purpose, work ethic, leadership, and an unmistakable drive to succeed. J&J &J Worldwide Services recognizes those traits. We support the warfighter. The military bases that we support are all supported through maintenance, operations, engineering, design, construction, environmental services. We're trying to make America available everywhere all around the world for our warfighters. J&J's sprawling operations span the entire globe. Two of its most important missions are the maintenance and support of two of our nation's preeminent military hospitals here in the United States. The storied Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland and the Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas. Brook is a, is a flagship for the United States Army. It's a tier one trauma center, only the only one in the world. It's the most prestigious hospital in the Army. We deal with primarily the uh, utilities and critical systems for the hospital, which entail HVAC, steam heating, electrical distribution, as well as the medical gases for the hospital. Like both Robert and Sue Haley, David found his path to J&J &J by way of his service. I was 18 right out of high school. From there, I went to Machinist Mate A School, which is propulsion engineering on the uh, USS Enterprise out of Norfolk, Virginia. It was my first carrier, a lot of people. It was fun. I was fortunate enough to come across the right people who steered me in the right direction, and it just happened to be J&J. &J. NJ and J were still part of the military's mission. We provide services and support to the military that are essential for them to be able to focus on what they're doing for the rest of the country. And that's that's great. I really enjoy that. At Brook, we, we do full life cycle maintenance. We do the operation and maintenance of the facility, meaning we take care of the electrical distribution, the water distribution, the HVAC, the medical gas. We also do the environmental services, which means after a surgery with blood everywhere, our technicians go in and clean the surgery room. I went to Fort Jackson to do my basic training there. And after I finished my basic training, I came here to Fort Sam Houston. I was a 91 Bravo first, that was a comeback medic, and then medical specialist. 
In the position that I'm in, what we do is mainly clean the rooms and kill all the pathogens in the room. It's worrying sometimes, but we have to do what we have to do to keep going and helping all the soldiers that come through. Make sure you get the bottom part as well. Walter Reed is the president's hospital. You know, as we walk through the halls of a, a place like this and see the patients every day and know that the work that we're doing behind the scenes is what's making them comfortable, what's making it so they can focus on their job of, of getting better, and that's something that I, I want to keep doing. While our veterans are all focused, driven, and accomplished, they also share deeply personal accounts of why they joined. When I was 14, I lost my parents, and I was adopted by my best friend's mom. She adopted me and took me in just like another child in her life, and I became part of that family. When I joined the Army, I was 17 years old. I needed signatures to go in because <laughs> I was too young. I didn't want to go the wrong path. <laughs> so I decided to go into the military. When I was growing up, my dad was not military, but we did move a lot. And he frequently was working at embassies in different places around the world. So I got to see the, the guards at the embassies. And uh, I noticed they always called my dad, sir. He was not in the military. But even then, I could tell that they were doing that. You know, they had respect for him, but they also had a lot of confidence in themselves and knew what they were doing and what their job was. And he always was very respectful back to them. And uh, at one point, I talked to him about joining the military, and uh, he told me I should join the Navy if I was gonna do that. <laughs> so eventually I did. This deep reverence and personal experience with the military enables these veterans to bring that same passion to work every day. I am very proud of what I do. I've taken the initiative to go from the bottom up. Started out as a housekeeper, cleaning in the hallways, cleaning in the ORs, then I got promoted, and now I'm the assistant director. Sometimes their work takes them in unusual directions, but military focus always shines through. Several years ago, the state of Texas experienced a deep winter freeze, knocking out power to much of the state. The city of San Antonio, outside Brook Army Medical Center, was no exception. During the um, freeze, uh, we were able to sustain the hospital for patient care. We were also able to bring our emergency uh, diesel generators online, which allowed us to provide power back to the grid for 220,000 homes were able to receive power. It makes me feel very proud because I'm um, here. I work for an awesome company and I'm also helping soldiers and heroes. I think the values that I learned and cultivated in the military align very well with the values, the corporate values of J&J. &J. Uh, their tagline is, we serve heroes. They're, this is a company that is focused on that mission and, and reaching that vision. And that kind of camaraderie and unity is, is something that I learned to treasure when I was on active duty, and I, I get to have it now too. That's, that's great. J&J &J Worldwide Services, we serve heroes. Creating a life after military service can feel overwhelming. Finding a rewarding career with a company that values veterans goes a long way to making that transition possible. Intifor offers former service members a way to grow and prosper in one of the world's largest forest products companies. Interfor is a growth oriented company that looks at uh, capital improvements and acquisitions as a form to grow their company and to grow their people. With Interfor, it's unique it being a forest product company. Being here at Interfor has really changed my outlook on corporate companies. You know, for the longest time, you know, corporate companies, I had always thought that corporate was all about themselves and not about the employees that work for them. Veterans are important to our diversity here at Interfor. 
the transferable skills that veterans bring to our operation, they fit right in. Interfor appreciates vets in the, in the sense that they, uh, they come with a, a discipline, uh, a hard work ethic, and those are uh, some of the values that we have uh, within the company. I was in the Army for six years uh, with the 101st Airborne out of Fort Campbell, Kentucky. I deployed with them to Afghanistan in 2010. I uh, was on a 13-month deployment. Just wanted to be able to help people, wanted to feel like you were helping people and making a difference was my biggest reason in joining. When I was in Afghanistan, what was so eye-opening for me, tomorrow's not promised. You better live it up today and enjoy today. But be the best person you can be. I spent five years in the United States Navy, active duty. I earned the uh, rank of a third class petty officer and I was a uh, aviation structural mechanic. So we were operating in a hostile area. With, this was an area that was still very active. It had been active since uh, 1990 in the Gulf War and it never really settled down. And so that felt important. It felt like what we were doing was what we had trained for for four years. My family comes from a military background, and I had um, actually joined when I was 17, so I had to get my mother to actually sign, and two weeks after high school graduation, I was in boot camp. Um, active duty Air Force, 10 years, um, retired officially as a tech sergeant. In my experience, and in even interviewing and hiring veterans, they come already prepared for the workplace. They like the hard workmanship that it takes, the dedication that it takes to, to grow and, and to be successful in making the product that we make. They, they're like, oh, I can do that. I can, I can learn that fast. I've already done that before. So they come ready. The camaraderie that you build in the military is something that I've yet to find in the civilian world. Um, which obviously when you're away for 13 months with a group of guys, you know, you become more than family. I mean, that's all you have and you would die for them. And it's just, that's hard to find in, in the civilian world. The biggest challenge for me coming back home was getting back in the routine of everyday life. So when I got out of the military, I didn't have that same structure, and I had to build that structure for myself. But fortunately, I did have discipline, and that allowed me to build that structure. I had a lot of emotion. I felt alone. I felt confused. I, I missed the camaraderie, the family of the military. So it was very challenging for me. It was very challenging. From a soldier to civilian, it's, it's, it's a really big deal. And I think that's some of the, uh, the angst that, that you have to start over again. Transitioning back to civilian life was a big deal. You're looking for a, a way to find self-worth. You're looking for a job to, to find that where someone will appreciate your skill set. Interfor is like a family. They are driven to grow their people from within and support them to be the best that they can be in the job that they have. When you think about veterans that are wanting to grow in that stability and take care of their families and have a career, Interfor is home to them. So if you're a vet seeking employment for a place like Interfor, uh, I would tell you to apply as soon as possible. Interfor is waiting, they're needing vets. Uh, it's a great opportunity, great place to work. global supply chain is made up of ships, planes, and everyone's favorite trains. Kansas City Southern, like the military, is always learning and evolving. Kansas City Southern is proud to employ over 400 active duty and military veterans as part of their workforce, and they want more. My name is Bobby B. Rivers, title Roll Fund of Engines, Kansas City Southern. My name is Kelly Kingo, and I am a superintendent of intermodal and automotive operations. I'm John Orr. I'm the executive vice president of operations for Kansas City Southern. At Kansas City Southern, we have our, our visions and values. Our veterans that come to work for Kansas City Southern really appreciate the clarity and purpose that those visions and values bring to us. I did 12 years active Army. I was a drill instructor slash patriot operator system mechanic. 
I did 21 years with the United States Air Force Reserve where I was the Chief of Operation of Civil Engineer Squadron. I graduated from the United States Military Academy at West Point, and then I served five years active duty in the Army. The similarity between military and railroad life is the family atmosphere. The family and the military is very close-knit. Whatever job you work in, they already had that experience, so you always have someone to, to call upon. The skills that I learned uh, as a conductor and as a locomotive engineer really helped me understand and appreciate the value a veteran brings to the rail industry. Those skills that are accrued over time really transition well in our industry, particularly with Kansas City Southern, where we value and appreciate the skills and experience of leadership that veterans bring to us. When I interviewed here with Kansas City Southern, the interviewees made it clear to me that there might be other options and other avenues that I could work in and I did not necessarily have to stick to the skill set that I did in the military. I did not know anything about the rail industry. I learned very quickly that my skill sets and my experience and my willingness to learn can go very far here at the company uh, and in the industry as a whole. The similarities and advancement for Kansas City South compared to the military is the same. You're gonna learn your skills. As you master your skills, you have advancement to move even higher. The sky's the limit. Uh, whatever you put in, you get out. There is a real community of railroaders who are veterans. More than 10% of our employees are veterans. They find a home here. The military connection is a, it's a good it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling to meet up with people that have been in the same places that you may have been and, and done the same type of work. The military is a family, and it does start with taking care of one another here at Kansas City Southern, taking care of one another and really getting to know the people that are on your left and the people that are on your right. And that sense of family is very important. We're in the Truman car, the President Harry Truman car. He perhaps is the single most influential and consequential leader the military's ever had. He made some of the toughest decisions the military's ever had to make. And I see the same skills being able to transition from any veteran using President Truman's example. People have control over their careers and have control over where they work and how they work. And they're rewarded much like uh, people who put in great effort in the military are rewarded. It's the same, it's a very similar to KCS. I happen to have a human resource background in the military and I would recommend that anyone that is working in the human resources side of the business in the military, really think outside the box and be open to the idea that your skill sets and your knowledge from the military can translate to other areas in the business. Just being open to the idea that there are there's a whole other side to you that you may not have known about, and really taking that risk um, to jump outside the box and not necessarily stick to what you know. Kansas City Southern has been a real entrepreneurial railway. We are really focused on our customers. We're focused on helping them grow and win in their markets. I think that spirit, it really resonates with veterans because there's nothing to be more proud of than helping somebody else do better in life. Kansas City Southern values employees, customers, and the communities that they serve equally. Veterans are a key component of their workforce. Great to see that after sacrificing so much through military service, today's veterans found careers where they were able to shine. I'm Montel Williams. Thanks so much for joining us on this episode of Military Makeover Operation Career. We'll see you next time.